Kyle did it again. I sure Kyle did. chose another anime <laughs> perversion game. Hooray! Welcome back to my. I'm gonna have another dollar. Yep, it's Twin B Yahoo. I was gonna try to play this with Keith and Nick, but Keith decided to be a fuck. Uh, I'm gonna do normal. Which is somehow different from the fact that I just made no effort. Right. Is that well, her hair, or is she just happy to see us? <laughs> I, well, I assume that, Nick, your excuse could possibly be, I have a job. I have things that happen in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Keith, however, I, have I know for a fact. responsibilities. Yeah. I Keith, couldn't. I know for a fact, has none of these things. So I don't really know what, uh, what he could possibly be doing all day. Wait a minute, Kyle. My job is extremely important. It is oh. to be a statistic. Yeah? <laughs> I'm really good at it. Well... I yeah, I guess you're some kind of statistic. I'm a number. <laughs> Bomb that <laughs> tiny baby animal, whatever the fuck that was. I'm not playing your game. Is this Keith telling us that he's finally becoming homeless? Because <laughs> even your Again. parents won't deal with you anymore. <laughs> another another homeless veteran. I was just saying, <laughs> instead of playing your game, Kyle, I'm playing another game. One where I win by ruining your life and everything that you hope to achieve. <laughs> oh, by playing a game, I thought you meant collecting uh, unemployment from the state. Oh, I wish. Wouldn't that I be think snazzy? He can't collect unemployment because he hasn't actually been employed in about seven yeah. years. So he's <laughs> not qualified. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing that's been over the table, at least. I, I do have to say, that's actually kind of a problem with um, our system, isn't it, huh? Like, where, like, uh, you can't get a fucking job because you haven't had a job, and then you can't get unemployment because you haven't had a fucking oh, job. Oh, man, like, if, if you're legit homeless, you're fucked. Like, everything requires a street address, and like, nobody will help you with that. <laughs> yeah. Half the people yeah, it's, at the hostel wild. I worked at use the hostel as their address just to get the ball rolling on getting driver's licenses and shit. Like, that's legitimately... A yeah. service that somebody you think would be it, able to provide. Yeah, it's pretty wild. I know that there are like nonprofit organizations and such which will, uh, yeah, they set up stuff like that, like use this address and like, you know, we, we will provide this information that they need in order for you to like be reintegrated into society because society by itself makes zero effort to welcome you back in. Except Society Keith. is like a giant thresher that passes over you like so many shafts of wheat and is as <laughs> indifferent to your eventual transformation into yucky, yucky white bread. That some <laughs> fucking gormless fuck is going to put hydrogenated ass peanut butter on. Seriously, who buys that buttery shit? Buttery? Nothing. It's more like wax. It's like eating a Yankee candle. Except <laughs> I'd actually have more respect for you if you did that because then it'd be like, well, you set your mind to something at least. <laughs> you, you made a decision and you saw it through to the end. Biting I mean, it into wasn't a candle. It was a good decision, but, you know. Spitting the chunks out onto the sidewalk. <laughs> pulling, a, <laughs> pulling a modified John Red Corn, I guess we could call it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, go back and watch. Something like that. <laughs> Dirty driving or whatever to understand that joke if you don't fucking get it. Fucking uh, those pine tree scented candles that they have at Christmas and just smiling with. Well, well, as I've oft made references to, green shit leaking out of your mouth. Yeah. Maybe that's what that was. Maybe the guy uh -oh. ate a candle. Huh? You say maybe that's what that was, as though you weren't the one who wrote that. I'm just retro, like I'm retconning it maybe, you know. Uh, I see. Yeah. Great uh, movies are never finished, only abandoned. <laughs> on the topic of biting candles, I do remember like in, in the earlier years of everything, of like everything had to be bacon related. There was a bacon candle in, like, a Target or something. And out of curiosity, I had to know, like, how accurate is this? And it smelled so stomach-turningly awful. Like, <laughs> I, don't, I don't think a candle can go rancid, but this one did. It was <laughs> so horrible. And I was like, who in the... Like, only the most stalwart fucker is buying these it's things. It's strange. Like, only the most stalwart anti-Semite would actually spend money on this fucking thing. It's and then you interesting whip it at the that wall. you bring up bacon in that way because I was watching the Red Letter Media video that just came out the other day, and I found out that a man was buried in like a coffin made of bacon uh, in Milwaukee. Well, it was painted to look like bacon. It no. wasn't made of it. Man, I barely was Probably, paying attention. He just wanted to make oh, sure damn. He, he was just trying to make sure he wasn't getting into heaven. 
<laughs> but that <laughs> was kind of funny that they made that joke. Like, was was the coffin like made of bacon? And they were all yucking it up. And then they had to have that footage. Like, well, it was supposed to look like bacon. You insensitive fuckers. A man is dead, but <laughs> 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 laugh it up. Uh, it's always funny you know, when someone died. <laughs> Milwaukee is one of the only cold weather blighted cities where everyone likes to make fun of it, right? There's usually more of that civic pride, you know, like New Yorkers and people from Philadelphia and Boston and shit. They're like, go, oh, city's the best of the world. And, you know, if you, if you start a concert by saying, yeah, this place sucks, huh? You'll get booed, which is like the opposite <laughs> of how Florida works, you know, like all the all the sweltering climb cities. You come out and say, like, L.A., greatest city in the world, right? And everyone's going to be like, uh, no. What the fuck are you talking about? No. <laughs> get out of here. You go back where you came get from, you Wichita. Get upset at fuck. you directly. Yeah. Yeah, I guess, I, I guess if you were from, uh, like, Milwaukee and you said, God, it's just full of fat pieces of shit here, <laughs> everyone would laugh. Like, <laughs> all of your neighbors would laugh heartily. Yeah, right? That, that's true, though. He, like, I've met so many people here before. I well met so observed. many people from Wisconsin or whatever, and you're like, hey, a lot of fat people are from there, and they go, yeah, we're all fucking fat pieces of shit. We're, we're all like, fat here. Also, the town's garbage. Hey, whoa. And the road <laughs> a sucks. Lot of, a lot of serial killers. What's up with that? And they're like, well. <laughs> <laughs> have you have you been here long? <laughs> We've known, we're known for something. Shout out to our <laughs> viewers who I know are from the Twin Cities, which is not Wisconsin, but... Damn that's, near close Yeah, enough. that's Minnesota. What are you talking about? What are you doing? Uh, they're all in the Midwest, so it's, you know, the same thing, isn't it? As far what, as my, uh, what, my... Yeah, Keith, we are YouTube Let's Play men. Do you think geography is really high up on our list of things we're good geography at? Geography appeals to people on the spectrum. <laughs> Hell, I know where Carl Actually, Pakistan is. Funny you bring that up. Uh, I did have a, a YouTube channel that was recommended to me for some reason where there's this guy who does speed runs of geo... Tr um, finding websites like they go on google maps and like it drops uh, you in like in the middle of nowhere and then he yes yeah, map fucker is unfamiliar with it yeah 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 and he like is able to find himself like without moving and like uh with like within 10 seconds it's ridiculous Boy, I wish I had the ability to do that within 30 years <laughs> <laughs> i haven't been able to find myself and i don't think any map can help me with that except well. perhaps for the bible i th i think you've found yourself pretty effectively it's just you know what you find isn't what you thought you wanted yeah <laughs> well i could acknowledge that salient point that you've made but instead <laughs> i'd rather do another run of my great great audio gag it's the bible <laughs> okay <laughs> kyle uh, i expect yeah. you to clip that and use it in your next hit ep <laughs> <laughs> oh, now are you trying to purposely get me to to mine tracks for you? No, I didn't remember. I didn't think of it until it was done. But then I realized if we have Nick going, it's not right tonight. B -b 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 the Bible, you know, it kind of works. <laughs> Why don't you just yeah, do it? See, together. it's one of those things where it's like a Chinese finger trap. Now that you're trying, <laughs> it, it won't work. Oh, I yeah. thought you were going to say because it's cheap novelty bullshit. <laughs> and it's not <laughs> well, as good as it's made out to seem. <laughs> that also. Hey, it's Dr. Claw. Oh, my God. I remember the first time I encountered a Chinese finger trap, like, when I was a kid, and I was, like, legitimately terrified that I was never going to get out of it because I was, like, <laughs> yeah. seven. Yeah. yeah, it's called a trap for a reason. I'm fucked. And then, of course, my dad was just like, well, you know, it's... Yeah, he pulled that shit on me, so I was, like, even more terrified. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, my God. How do I get out? How do I get out? How do I get out? Think that's bad. Wait till they slap the cuffs on you for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> he, he goes to retrieve uh, the bolt cutters from the garage. <laughs> well, Kyle, you've gotten yourself into a fine mess here. No! <laughs> well, at least all the other kids will be asking you how you lost both your fingers on summer vacation. That's like one of those arc welding things. <laughs> You'll uh, you'll have an easy excuse for why you can't complete your homework tonight. You're <laughs> gonna have to learn to play with nothing but fifth chords, I'm afraid. No barring for you. Oh. I don't know if Music your dad joke. knows enough about guitars to be able to make that no, joke. No, he he played the trumpet in high school because he liked the band Chicago. <laughs> None of that means anything to me. It's not I a guess good reason can, to do anything. I don't get boomer <laughs> shit enough to be able to uh, identify with I, that. I 
I do like that as an excuse. Yeah, I do like that as an excuse to like why someone does something. (laughs) It's like, why did you throw the the furniture out? Well, he's a fan of Chicago, and then that's just that. Yeah, I was really like Chicago when I was younger. Yeah, they got Chicago, they got Boston. Is there a band called Seattle, and it's just a bunch of beardos with kazoos and ginger beer? There's Kansas, Asia, Europe. It's not a city. Uh, I bet there's a city called Europe. Let's put this poor episode out of its misery.